Let me grab all that information. Okay, let me go grab that information. Okay, next one. No quizzes. Uh, that's going to be quizzes. And then we got the final. Okay, final. Check this to make sure. Yeah. Website's down. And so that's done. Okay. No longer accident to it. Okay, so okay, let me look at that just one second. Uh, so electronic tech. Websites down, Sam. Yeah, I'm just checking right now just to make sure. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and go over just over the review. Uh, hopefully, we'll get it up by the time that we uh, get started on the test. Okay, so let me go ahead and start sharing. Share screen. Okay, so we're going to be going over the JFET number four. Let me see. That was number three. This one is number three, JFET number three. Okay, so let me go ahead and get number four. JFET number four. Okay, can everyone see? Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay. So pretty much you just go through and just, um, um, so pretty much I'm just going through it. So number one, given JFET has the following characteristic, IDSS is 12 milliamps, VGS off is negative five volt, and uh, GM zero equal 3000 microsecond. Uh, determine GM when VGS equals negative two. Now, since the answer is in millisiemen, I convert that G, uh, GM0 to millisiemen. So therefore, 3,000, same thing as millis, uh, three millisiemen. Okay, so this is a formula that you're gonna be applying to. And then uh, I also copy this one directly from the handout from the website. Okay, so therefore GM equal the quantity three millisiemen times the quantity one minus Negative two is your VG, uh, VGS uh, at negative two, and then the VGS off is at negative five. So, and then you put that, plug it into your calculator, and you should get a, about 1.8 millisiemen. So the answer is B as in Bob for number one. Number two, a given JFET has the following characteristic. Okay, so similar case, same, same thing as number one characteristic but now they want to find ID. So ID, just apply the formula, the trans, transfer characteristic. So ID equal IDSS times the quantity one minus VGS divided by VGS off, that quantity is square. Okay, so therefore it's gonna be 12 millisiemen times the quantity one minus negative two volt divided by five volt, that whole quantity square. And once you put that into your calculator, the answer comes to about 4.32 milliamps, okay? So number two is A as in Adam for number two. So any question number one or two? Okay, no question. Okay, so question number three for the P channel JFET shown determine uh, VGSQ, okay, so VGSQ, that's the same, same VGS uh, minus uh, v, uh, VG minus VS, okay, so VG, we know it's right here, VG is a positive two volt, and then the VS is right here, which is connected to the common, so therefore it's zero volt, so two volt minus zero volt would give you two volts, so the answer is C as in uh, cat for number three. 
for number four for the P channel J fat shell and determine IDQ. Okay, so IDQ, same thing as the follow the use the transfer characteristic formula. And so, and then uh, IDS is going to be eight milliamps right here and minus the quantity one minus the D two volt, the VGS right up here. And VGS off is the positive eight volt. So you do that calculation and you come up to the 4.5 milliamps. So the answer is A as an apple for number four. Okay, any question number three or four? Was there a lower portion of the, the formula there, Sam? Not shown. Uh, not you. Not you. Don't need it at, at this moment. Uh, it's not really needed right now. Like just the GM zero, which is we don't need it at this point at this time. We just need to apply the transconductant, the transfer characteristic formula here. Okay. All right. So next, next set. Okay, so for the P-channel JFET, number five, for the P-channel JFET shown determine VRD. So they want to find the voltage drop over the RD right here. Okay, so VRD, so you're gonna be taking the ID times RD. Now VD that we calculated, uh, we calculated earlier uh, from, uh, from number four, which is 4.5 milliamps. Okay, so 4.5 milliamps times 1.1 kilo ohm that yield 5.4 volt. So the answer is C as in cat for number five. Okay, for number six, for the P channel J fed shown determine VDS, okay? So VDS equals the VD minus VS or same thing as VRD since this one is a negative voltage. So VRD minus the VDD minus the VS, okay? So we know that VS was zero volt. So VD was the, we got calculated here, number five. So that's the same 5.4 volt minus, uh, oops, uh, hold on. It's gonna be VD. Uh, sorry about that. Look like it's gonna be VD, VDD minus, uh, let me see. Okay, so this is gonna be, gonna be VDD. Okay, VDD, this gonna be plus plus. So that's zero. This one should be minus the 10. Okay. Minus 10 volt. So that comes up to negative 4.6 volt. So the answer is A as an apple for number six. Okay, any question on five or six? Okay, no question, next. Okay, for number seven, determine the value of ID required to sell bias a P channel with IDS S equal to 25 milliamps and VGS off equals 15 volt. VGS is to be five volt. Okay, so we apply the transfer characteristic formula. Okay, so therefore ID equal 25 milliamps times the quantity one minus five volt divided by 15 volt, that quantity square and you put in your calculator, it should come to 11.1 .1 milliamps. So the answer is A as an apple for number seven. Okay, and number eight, determine the value of RS required to sell bias a P channel with IDS as equal to 25 milliamps and VGS off equal to 15 volt. VGS is to be five volt, okay? So uh, RS is equal to, in this case, we're gonna take the voltage divided by the current, just applying sim similar to Ohm's law. So you got the VGS off, which is the 15 volt minus the, uh, the five volt. So that will give you the 10 volt divided by the current, the IDSS. So 10 divided by 25 milliamp, that uh, yield 400 ohms. Okay, so the answer is B as in Bob for number eight. Okay, any question number seven or eight? Okay, no question. Next set. Uh, let me just shrink down this one a bit. Okay, so hopefully everybody can see this one. Okay, nine. Uh, for certain D MOSFET, IDSS equals 18 milliamps and VGS off equals positive 10 volt. Is this uh, an N channel or P channel? Okay, so we look at that pretty much. Uh, it's going to be your VGS off is positive 10. So it's most likely it's going to be your uh, your it's going to be in your uh, your 
P it's gonna be in your P channel MOSFET. Okay, so that comes into here. Okay, so you get a VGS is positive here, so it's a P channel. Okay, this is from the handout from the website. Okay, so that is, okay, so that's nine. Okay, 10 for certain D MOSFET IDSS equal to 18 milliamps and VGS off equal positive 10 volt. Determine ID at VGS off, VGS equal positive four volt, okay? So we apply the transfer characteristic formula. So now ID equal to 18 milliamps times the quantity. One minus four volt divided by 10 volt, that, qu that quantity square. You put in your calculator, the answer comes to 6.48 milliamps. So the answer is B as in Bob for number 10, okay? For number 11, for certain uh, depleted MOSFET, uh, D MOSFET, IDSS equals 18 milliamps and VGS off equal positive 10 volt. Determine ID at VGS equals negative four volt, okay? So we apply the, uh, trans, uh, the transfer characteristic formula. So ID equals 18 milliamps times the quantity one minus the quantity negative four volt divided by 10 volt. That quantity is gonna be square. And you put in that comes up to 35.28 milliamps, okay? So the answer is B as in Bob for number 11. So any question number nine, 10 or 11. Okay, so look like everyone's good. So that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it for uh, the JFED review number four. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, okay. So that's done. Let me check the website to make sure if it's up uh, to find out whether it's up yet. Uh, let me check. Uh, so electronics tech. I just tried, it's not loading. Okay. Okay, so it's going to take a little bit of while. Uh, so from uh, until then, let's go see. Uh, okay, so. Anybody else that need to be uh, need to register for class, please let me know. Uh, either put it in the chat or uh, let me see. Uh, participant, I need to look at the people and who are here. Anybody that have not registered or can uh, have problem registering, let me know. Uh, let me know your name and your student ID number, and we'll make sure that you get registered for class. Okay. Let me see what else on the chat. Okay, so chat is, uh, okay, so the website is still down. We're still gonna go through that. Okay. So until then, now do you guys wanna go ahead and put the answer on a, on a sheet of paper? I can run the test now. Sure, that's fine. Okay, is that okay for everyone? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. This is it, and Sam. This is due tomorrow. Is that right? Is this, this... Yeah. You know, as soon as uh, you know, like I said, it's going to be due by noon tomorrow. Okay. So just make sure uh, to up, uh, upload it uh, when you can download that answer sheet from the website and just put the transfer your answer into the uh, onto that sheet and then upload it to the website. Okay. Let me see, uh, this one is gonna be, okay, so this one here. All right, so we're gonna be running, okay. Okay, here we go. Good luck, everyone. All right. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and look at this one. And let me go ahead and, okay, it's gonna run it. Okay, start from beginning.
Mr. Sam? Hello. Uh, you are showing the answers with the, with the questions. And I know. I want to see the night. Okay, so basically they have just a bonnet. He forgot to delete the, the key. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.
website's up and running.
So that's pretty much it. Okay, so make sure you're, uh, I heard from Lo that the website is back up. So let me check uh, real to make sure. Uh, hey try. Sam, I came a little late. Would I be able to see one through 12? Was it on the- web? You're gonna to have to watch the video. Okay, that's good, thank you. So let's see, okay, the website is uh, back online. So you can go to the handout and just click on the e-final test here. And so that's your answer sheet and put all your answer on that sheet and upload it to the website. And it's due today, uh, due by tomorrow by 12 noon, okay? Let me see what uh, look like we got a couple, uh, let me go ahead and stop sharing. Let me read the chat. Okay, so, okay, 50 question. Uh, okay, yeah, so you got a freebie on question 22, 23, 24. Sorry about that. Lucky you guys. <laughs> So, okay, so, uh, so we got one one to see number 28, one one to see number 30, uh, 30 uh, so, okay, so hold on uh, one second. Let me hit, uh, write down the student name that sent me about the registration. Okay. Oops. Okay. So, Okay, so you want to see question. Okay, Sophia want to see number uh, 28. And then you got uh, one want to see number 30, uh, 38. All right, one second. Okay, so let me close this. Okay, so minimize this one, start, yeah, okay, uh, let me see, end slide show. Okay, so we're gonna be going back. Mm. Uh, let me see, 35. Let me see, yeah, end slide show. Okay, so let me see, go to 35. Okay, let me see the third. Let's see, it was uh, written down 28 and 38. Okay, so I'm going to go to 28 first for Sophia. Okay, so oops, uh, let me see. And uh, okay, so we're going thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Let me go ahead and share the screen once more. Okay, let me see. Share screen. Okay, number 28. Okay, that's number 28. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, and the other one was uh, let me see, the other one was 35. Let me see, end slide show. The other one was 38. For one, okay, one. Okay, number 38. Could you just quickly address on 37 and 38 because there's conflicting information. 37 says the gain is four. The chart shows the gain is 10. Yeah, don't use the gain on the chart. Use the gain that is given here in the question. Okay, 38 then, should we use the gain on the chart or the gain from 37? Um, the, let's see, we're gonna be using the five volt input. So five volt input, uh, so we're gonna be, so let me see, RF. So we're gonna be look at the, whatever the, um, I believe that also based on the, uh, let me see, that was, uh, okay, so if we got the VN is five, and so we're gonna be the output. Let me see, what was uh, the one that I put in my 38? Okay, so we're gonna be, okay, so if we had the gain of uh, four, let's see, okay, let's see gain of, Okay, so 
five volt in. So, okay, so five volt in if we do the, okay, so we're gonna be using, um, yeah, you're gonna be using um, pretty much you can, okay, so we want to, okay, for the second showing given the identify the current through RF is, uh, so you just use, yeah, don't use the gain off from the one on the schematic, use the gain that you given previously on step number four here. Perfect, thank you. And to use the answer in 38, okay. Okay, let me see what else on the chat. Let me see. Minimize. Okay, so that's uh, okay. So that's uh, look like the next one was uh, 25, 36, and 37. Okay, so let me go ahead and just, uh, let me see. And there. Okay, so the other student want to look at the right, chat. Okay, 25, 26, 27. And five twenty six and twenty seven. Sam, you said this, the, all of these are on the recording, correct? It is being recorded right now. Okay, that's all I need to know. Thanks. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let me see. Let me see what else on the chat. Okay, so, okay. All right, so like everybody got their question on. That one's done, done. Okay, look like everything else in chat is done. Okay, so if you quit miss the question from 22, 23, 24, it's all your fault, not mine. <laughs> Okay, so if you have not seen, uh, if you need to register for class and you're unable to do it yourself, please uh, go ahead and send, go ahead and type your, um, your name on the chat, do a private chat to me and your student ID number and uh, make sure that you get registered for class, okay? If you still have trouble um, registering for class. Okay, so pretty much that's it, Mr. Fan. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Sam. Thank you very much. Okay, that's it. Uh, we'll see you guys on next Wednesday. Okay. And uh, in last left on still tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. Okay, so good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome.